What is up, people? OG Soda Pop Kid here. Just got done installing one of these C uh, Flow fans right here, right on that alternator that gets real hot. Let me turn off these uh, fans real quick. So y'all can hear me better. All right, I put one of these. I think I need to move this closer, which I can do that. All right, that's what I posted up today, y'all, when I was asking y'all to take a guess what it was. But then it was sitting up a little too high and the trunk wouldn't shut. So I decided to use L brackets instead and brought them down lower so I can play around with this and, and raise it up a little. I got it tilted. I'm going to go ahead and get the four inch one. And then move it a little closer. But it's keeping it it's keeping it uh, cooler, okay, per se, but it's still hotter to the touch than them. I mean it's reading it's reading lower, it's helping, it's helping, but I think the, the four inch one will probably help a little better. And plus if I move it closer. But uh it's reading 138, 138, and then the ones next to it is reading, you know, 124. So it's still a little, these over here is 130, 140 something, 128, 129. One, it's keeping it a, a little cooler. You know what I mean? But I feel if I get the four inch one, if I just go ahead and get the bigger one, it'll blow more air than the three inch one. You know what I mean? And then I can move it a little closer too. I can just put some uh, metal down there on the brackets and move it a little bit closer so it can blow on it a, a little bit better. But I have it set to where... um. I don't have a switch on it. I have it where it's on the uh, it's on the uh, ignition, and it it uh, comes on automatically because it needs to continually blow on that continually. Okay, so I don't need to have a switch. It's just going to be on all the time. You know what I mean? So that's the way I wanted it. Boom. Okay, so it is helping. It's helping. And now since I uh. I got the lights on here. Everything's working pretty good now. No noise or nothing. Uh, these these things, these little Bravos scream. They scream. Them Bravos right there, bro. They scream. And they're 17 volt capable. That's why. That's another reason why I wanted them. So now I can turn my uh, voltage up into the 16s. Okay, I can have it like on 16.2 or something like that, man. Because... Those uh, little amps can handle just as many volts as those big ones. That's another reason why I wanted those. For that reason. You know, then I put a smaller belt on here. I wanted uh, like a 0.7 of an inch smaller and was able to get that on here. So that doesn't squeal or scream or none of that. But yeah, that alternator gets, uh, it gets hot, man. Now it was this one. Now it's that one. So if this one was to start, I'll just take and put one of those fans over here as well. <laughs> right down in here. I can fit it right down in here. You know what I mean? And then uh, make it bend its way right on over there. Trust me. You know what I mean? I can make it work. Another one to put it on that in case that starts acting stupid again. But it was only the two end ones. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Now, you know, I was talking to my other uh, alternator guy uh, at Murray Automotive Electric. It was uh, Kevin, and we was talking again, and I was explaining to him what was going on with one alternator getting warmer than the other. You know what I mean? Now, once again, I can take and move this pulley over to here, and it won't get as hot. It'll, it'll simmer down a little bit. And we'll simmer down a little bit if I move that over and won't get as hot. And it'll, it'll, you know, but I'm going to get the four inch fan, throw it on here, see what it does. And then possibly move that pulley over here 
and see if it does anything. See if the belt squeals or anything like that. Okay, so that's what I'll end up doing. But you know, that's helping. But I'm gonna get the four inch one. It'll blow, it'll blow harder, blow more. You know what I mean? That's the only way I'm gonna keep these things calm down. The only way I'm gonna keep them calm down. Yep, exactly. So, and, and these belts are a whole lot cheaper on Amazon than they are at Advanced Auto Parts. That's a darn shame. A darn shame. But that's that. So tomorrow it was a nice day today, too. But I worked. Worked, and I was working on that. So tomorrow I'm going to pull this out, man, and get me some bass. Turn my voltage up to the 16s. At least just like 16 volts. Now that it can handle all that, you know, I ain't got to worry about my uh, door speaker amps shutting, shutting down because a, a 250.4 is 16 volts. They wouldn't come on. They would not come on. So that's the end of that, man. So I had to do some maneuvering here. Move the oil catch can over and if it ain't one thing, it's another, man. If it ain't one thing, it's another. But yeah. It's all good. You know, it's all good. Just move things over. Move it over a little bit because that four inch one is definitely going to be. Definitely. It's going to be a little bit bigger than this. That I do know. So I might have to. Yeah, also, I might have to move that wire over so it don't hit it. Yada, yada, yada. A little bit of more bending, bending up towards the alternator. I mean, a little bit more, rise it, bend it up, get it a little closer. It should help. So it's your boy, OG Soda Pop Kid. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, peace.